From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. It's very important to maintain a healthy life. We often struggle with some unpleasant diseases. Flu is one of them. What is flu? Flu is a common infectious viral illness spread by coughs and sneezes. It can be very unpleasant, but you'll usually begin to feel better within about a week. Let's know more about flu. What are the symptoms of flu? Common signs and symptoms include Fever over 100 degree Fahrenheit Aching muscles, especially in your back, arms and legs Chills and sweats Headache Dry persistent cough Fatigue and weakness Nasal congestion Sore throat Runny or stuffy nose Some people may have vomiting and diarrhea Though this is more common in children than adults Now let us know the risk factors of flu Age Seasonal influenza tends to target young children and older adults Living conditions People who live in facilities along with many other residents, such as nursing homes or military barracks, are more likely to develop influenza. Weak immune system, cancer treatments, anti-rejection drugs, corticosteroids, and HIV or AIDS can weaken your immune system. This can make it easier for you to catch influenza and may also increase your risk of developing complications. Chronic illness. Chronic conditions such as asthma, diabetes, or heart problems may increase your risk of influenza complications. Pregnancy. Pregnant women are more likely to develop influenza complications, particularly in the second and third trimesters. Obesity. People with a BMI of 40 or more have an increased risk of complications from flu. So, what are the causes of flu? The flu is caused by influenza virus, types A, B, and C. Both type A and type B flu viruses are responsible for the seasonal outbreaks of flu. Type A flu viruses are found in many different animals, including ducks, chickens, pigs, and horses. Influenza B viruses circulate widely only among humans. Flu viruses spread mainly from person to person through coughing or sneezing by people infected with influenza. Sometimes people may become infected by touching a contaminated surface and then touching their mouth or nose. The flu is highly contagious. Most people experience flu symptoms within one to four days of getting sick. However, an infected person can begin spreading the flu virus to others one day before manifesting symptoms and for up to a week after getting sick. This is why it is essential to maintain vigorous personal hygiene, especially during flu season. This includes simple steps like using antibacterial liquid to clean your hands after getting off a bus or washing your hands extra carefully before eating. Such steps can go a long way when it comes to avoiding the flu. Now let's discuss how to take care of a person with flu. First, you have to know the common flu symptoms and when to seek medical care. Have the sick person rest and sleep if running a fever. Allow the sick person to feel comfortable. Person with high fever may feel very cold and want more blankets. Use fever reducers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Follow the package label or your healthcare provider's direction to reduce fever, headache, and muscle joint or eye pain. We should allow the sick person to drink as much as possible. Light food should be given to the patient. Fluids are more important than food in the first days when the fever may be highest. Remember not to smoke around the sick person. Have the sick person gargle. Also use lozenges or hard candy for a sore throat. You must clean your hands before and after caring for a sick person. Also, sick people should clean their hands too. Please avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth, because germs often spread that way. Also, consider wearing a mask when giving care to a sick person. Finally, you should know about medical care. In 2009, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence NICE recommended that doctors should consider treating people in the at-risk groups mentioned above with the antiviral medication oseltamivir or Tamiflu and Zanamivir or Alenza to reduce the risk of complications of flu. Oseltamivir is an oral medication and Zanamivir is inhaled through a device similar to an asthma inhaler and shouldn't be used by anyone with respiratory problems such as asthma and lung disease. Recent research has suggested that Tamiflu and Relenza may not be effective at reducing the risk of flu complications and could cause side effects, so consult a doctor first. 
but there is evidence that antivirals can reduce the risk of death in patients hospitalized with flu. In the light of this evidence, Public Health England says it is important that doctors treating severely unwell patients continue to prescribe these drugs where appropriate. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gorman. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.